Hi students, this is AJ sir. Let's study 9th standard ICAC math chapter 19 exercise A mean. Also to enroll for my online test series or online lectures, email me or message me on Instagram. Check the description for more information. mean in simple language is to find the average now you can cancel question 1 it's very easy and mark sums 6 10 and 14 as IMP let's do the third sum find the mean of the first 10 odd natural numbers the formula of mean is the total of all the observations or all the numbers or all the quantities the sigma sign means summation so summation of all x where each of this is a value of x it's a variable upon n that is total number of observations in this sum the data are 1 3 5 7 so on till 19 the first 10 odd natural numbers upon 10 because we have totally 10 observations interestingly the average comes up to be exactly 10 if I look at the middle number between this it seems to be the average of 9 and 11 which is 10 because I've got 1 2 3 4 numbers on the left and 1 2 3 4 numbers on the right it's an interesting observation which is not true always while removing mean it is true here simply because it's a very symmetrical data this observation will be useful for the next exercise when we discuss median but for mean this observation isn't of much use now the fifth sum again they have given some data and we have to find the mean same formula so we'll add the values given x plus 3 x plus 5 x plus 7 x plus 9 x plus 11 of course brackets are not compulsory totally there are five pieces of information given so upon 5 add all the x's together 5x add all the numbers together 35 they are unlike terms so we can't add them remove 5 common so that 5 and 5 can be cancelled and the answer is x plus 7 which interestingly again here is the middle term out of the fine five values but note this is not always true the middle number need not be the mean as you will see in the further sums now the sixth sum is IMP again they have given some information and you have to find the mean which we know how to but there is a second part we have to find the value of the summation of x minus x bar x bar is nothing but the mean which we will find in Roman number one and x values are these values all these are called x values so x minus x bar is the difference between each of these numbers and the mean what's the difference in technical language it is called deviation from the mean and we have to find the summation of that that means we'll have to make a table we'll find all the differences of all 10 observations and we'll add them and let me tell you at the outset for mean whenever you find the total of all the deviations that is all the differences it has to be zero that's a rule for me so let's work it out so finding the mean was pretty straightforward be very careful while adding you should not make any silly mistakes I got 58 upon 10 is is 5.8 and Roman number 2 I jotted down all the x values and I found the difference between each of these values with the mean the mean is 5.8 as we found out in Roman number 1 and sometimes the differences are negative sometimes they are positive but when I add them indeed it comes up to be zero that's what they wanted us to find out 
Now the eighth sum. The mean of five numbers is 18. But if one number is excluded, the mean of the remaining numbers becomes 16. This will particularly hold true when you remove your percentage of your uh, board marks. Suppose you got an average of 92% counting all your subjects, 6 or 7 subjects. But if best of 5 is allowed, then you can exclude 1 or 2 subjects. And hopefully it won't be math because I'm sure you will score fantastic marks in math with regular practice. So if you remove a couple of subjects or just one subject and you take the best of five, the average that is a mean would be different, isn't it? In fact, you will choose it in such a way that your average seems to increase. Here the question is, find the excluded number. Now I can see that by removing the number, the average has decreased from 18, it fell down to 16. So I am sure that this excluded number was a big number, bigger than 18 at least. But how do we calculate that? So first, we have the mean of five numbers 18. So the total of five numbers will be 18 into five. You see, this is derived from the mean formula. If mean is the total upon the number of observation then if you cross multiply if n goes up i can say the total is equal to mean into number of observations so that's what i have done here we've got mean given so the total is equal to the mean into the number of observations which comes out to be 90. but if you exclude one number and the mean of the remaining four numbers is 16. So the total of the remaining four numbers is 64. Obviously, the total of the remaining four numbers will be less than the total of the five numbers. And the difference between them is the excluded number. And now let's do the seventh sum. There were totally 15 observations and the mean was 32. What if each of these observations values were decreased by 7? Will the mean change? Obviously it will. But how will we calculate the new mean? Well, it's fairly straightforward. If each of the observations is being decreased by 7, then the new mean will also be found out by decreasing the original mean by 7. That is 32 minus 7 is 25. Similarly, in Roman number 4, 7.4, they have asked what will be the mean if each of the observation is divided by 0 0.5. Well, then for the new mean also, it will be original mean upon 0 0.5, which is 1 upon 2, 2 goes up, and the answer comes up to 64. And then in Roman number 6, they've asked, what if the each of the observation is decreased by 20%? Then the new mean will be the original mean minus 20% of the original mean. Or simply speaking, the new mean is 80% of the original mean. So that's the method I'm going to use. If 20% decreases there, means 80% is left. So the new mean is 25.6. Make sure you read the questions carefully after pausing the videos. Then you solve the whole sum on your own. You do all the calculations rather than just copying the values. Practice is very important to be perfect in math. Also, if you notice in this question, it is mentioned decreased by 20%. It not decreased to 20%. That would have meant something totally different. Decreased to 20% means the final mean is just 20% of the original mean. Now the 10th sum, which is again IMP. There were 100 observations and the mean was 40. But then they realized that the actual observation of 53 was misread as 83. So the, the mean you got, that is 40, is definitely a wrong mean. What is the correct mean? 
first of all will the correct mean be more than 40 or less than 40 think about it well it will be less than 40 you see 53 was misread as 83 that means our, our total was little more than the correct total so the mean of 100 observations was 40 so the total the incorrect total was 4000 but then we realized that this is too much because while calculating the total we misread 53 as 83 there is, there is a difference of 30 that means this is 30 marks more than the actual correct marks so what is the correct total of 100 observations it is 4000 minus 30 that is 3970 and then the mean will be this upon 100 which is 39.7 so you can see the correct mean is less than the original mean of 40 if the question was changed what if it was uh, 83 was the correct observation which was misread as 53 in that case we would have added 3 uh, 30 out here and the correct mean would have been greater than 40 now the 12th sum find the mean of 75 numbers if the mean of 45 numbers is given as 18 and the remaining numbers mean is also given by the way how many are remaining 75 minus 45 is 30 numbers are given so it is the set of 75 numbers have been divided into two batches 45 and 35 sorry 30 and their respective means are given so what is the mean of the total 75 numbers of course we can't just take the average of these means or something because the, the this one the set one has 45 observations whereas the set 2 has only 30 observations so it's not symmetrical here so how will we solve this well first of all the mean of 45 numbers is 18 that means the total of 45 numbers is 810 that is for the set 1 again the mean of the remaining 30 numbers is 13 as given in the question so what is the total of the remaining 30 numbers well it's 390 for the second set so what is the total of all the 75 numbers obviously is the addition of the two sets here which is 1200 so now it's easy to find the mean mean is always the total upon number of observations which gives us 16 and now finally the 14th sum I mean not finally the final IMP sum 14 sum the mean marks of boys is 70 and the average marks of girls is 73 and if you look at the average marks of the entire batch boys plus girls combined it is 71 what is the ratio of boys to the to that of girls clearly girls are getting more average marks which is always true girls always perform better in exams because boys are busy on uh, their video games so I'll solve it with the help of a table let's assume the number of students are x and y now we don't have to find the values of x and y individually I just need the ratio total number of students is all obviously x plus y mean marks <coughs> the average marks that is boys 70 girls 73 clearly girls are intelligent more intelligent than boys as usual uh, no I'm not being mean we have to find the mean here oh, it's given 71 is the total of the entire batch thanks to boys who dragged the average down I'm guessing that the number of boys is greater than number of girls because it has been dragged a lot from 73 it came to 71 which is closer to 70 and far away from 73 anyway let's uh, solve this what about total marks now by now you already know that total marks is always mean multiplied by number of observations or number of students so it's 70x this is the total marks of girls and this is the total of the entire class 
but if I add these two, that is also the total marks of the entire class or entire batch. That means this plus this is equal to this. That's how we get this equation in two variables. Open the brackets, rearrange the terms, get x upon y. And so we get the ratio of boys to girls as 2 ratio 1. And now the 16 sum. Now there were many tests, there were totally 8 tests taken um, and the tests were out of 30. That number has no significance here. And the average is 25 for all the 8 tests, which is quite good. But in your folder, you only saved 7 test papers, you lost one. So when you go back and recheck your seven test papers, you got the following scores 29, 26, 18, 20, 27, 24 and 29. Can you guess what would have been your marks in the eighth test paper which you have lost? Well we can. So the mean marks of eight tests is 25. So the total marks of eight tests is 200. But when you remove your seven test papers and you actually add them up, you see that your total is just 173. What does it mean? It means that the eighth test must have been equal to the difference of these two, which is 27, because only like that will the average of all eight tests be 25.